What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time visiting my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Toyo, and I'm here to do a reading for you guys. So hit that like and subscribe button, and let's get into this video here, okay? Um, Y'all, so I'm definitely seeing that there's somebody here that wanted to connect with you, and I feel like you dodged a bullet. Some of y'all, y'all were connected to this person. Some of y'all, this person really wanted to connect with you here, and you decided to either cut this person off, or you didn't want to connect with this person. You did the right thing. You completely dodged a bullet, decided not to fuck with somebody, or not to be friends with somebody, or not to be lovers with somebody here, okay? But, um, um, there's something going on with this person is being really malicious towards you. Some of y'all, y'all end up um, cutting this person off before they could do whatever malicious plan they had towards you. Some of y'all, this person is crazy because they wanted to they wanted to do something malicious to you, but you ended up dodging a bullet. But the thing is, the reason that they wanted to do something malicious to you is no reason. You have not done nothing wrong to this person. So let me try to look into what's going on. But all y'all need to know is y'all dodged the bullet. If you decided, I don't want to connect with that bitch. I don't want to be her fucking friend. I don't want to whatever the fuck. I don't want to be his lover. I don't want to be her lover. Whatever it is, you dodged the bullet. This person was giving you the evil eye, been hating on you. Okay, this person is actually extremely jealous of you. Okay, okay. But I do feel like you guys are protected. Um, but I do feel like the way that you dodge the bullet is this person wants to be in your energy. They want to be your friend. They want to be around you when they don't fucking like you. When the whole time they have malicious intentions towards you. So like I said, you might have felt, felt this person giving you the evil eye. You might have felt this person's energy. You might have felt that nasty energy, this jealousy that they have towards you. And like I said, you moved accordingly. You decided, I don't think I need to be her friend. You know, I don't want to be around her. I don't want to be around him. I don't want to talk to him. They, something about this person was making you feel uncomfortable. But all y'all need to know is you haven't did nothing wrong. All you did was feel this person's energy. You dodged the bullet. And they're they're really mad that they didn't get a chance to fuck you over or to do whatever the fuck nasty they plan to do to you. They're really giving you the evil eye now. They was already giving you the evil eye. But now they're giving you the evil eye because you ended up deciding I don't want to connect with them. Or you know what? I'm not about to give this person my energy. Okay? Now they're fucking mad. Okay? So this person had malicious intentions towards you the entire time. Uh, this person was sending you negative energy. And like I said, you ain't did shit wrong to this person. Clarify malicious intentions. Um... Yeah, some of y'all, this person keeps checking your social media. It's almost like they're obsessed with you, okay? Some of you guys, they may try to add you on social media. A lot of you guys, they, they're like, like, like I'm telling you, they're like checking your social media. They're constantly watching you, giving you the evil eye, and you ain't did shit wrong to this person. Clarify, like you have done nothing wrong. Y'all literally haven't done nothing wrong to this person. It's really giving me, like I said... They wanted to be your friend. It also could have something to do with a lover. Like somebody giving, some of y'all, this motherfucker is weird and they like the same person you like, somebody that you are with or somebody that you used to be with. And um, they tried to get into your energy like that and you, you dodged that bullet. But at the end of the day, you haven't done nothing wrong but protect your energy. This person's really upset because you protected your energy from them. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, this person got bad luck in their energy. It's something about this person. Okay, this person's really negative. This person feels like they didn't get what they wanted out of you. Okay? They felt like coming connecting with you was gonna bring them some type of good luck, some type of wealth, something. And when you decided, no, I'm good, they felt like they're getting bad luck, like shit ain't going their fucking way. Clarify you have done nothing wrong. I just really feel like y'all haven't done nothing wrong, but probably turn them down or decide you don't wanna connect with them. You don't wanna talk with them you don't want to do something with them so some of y'all this could be somebody who you're friends with or you used to be friends with okay clarify you have done nothing wrong i'm telling you some of y'all this is somebody who wants to be your friend a lot of y'all y'all went no contact with this person or like i said you decided i don't want to talk to this person some of y'all this could simply be somebody that just wanted to be your friend some of y'all y'all left somebody on red you left somebody in your dms you left somebody in your email okay at the end of the day you ain't did shit wrong to them but leave them alone and they're mad okay be mad okay so they have malicious intentions towards you this person wants to delay you in some sort of way um they want you to start lacking progress okay this person cut from malicious intentions. What happened? Yeah, this person has really malicious intentions towards you. 
But it's like, I don't know. I feel like you're too strong for this person. Either your intuition is too strong for this person. You're quite literally too strong for this person. So if they, like, this is like, let's say somebody thought they was going to come beat you up. But then they realize you're stronger than them. So they need to back the fuck off. Somebody thought they was going to actually send you negative energy. But they realize you're stronger than them. So you need to back the fuck off here, okay? It's something like that. You were too confident for somebody to play out their plan, okay? To do whatever the fuck they thought they were going to do. Okay, I feel like a lot of you guys are leaders. Like I said, you're too confident. I feel like you're looking at the bigger picture when it comes to a situation. Like, if you know, like, I, I don't know. It's like something about this person's energy. But you're looking at the bigger picture and you definitely did the right thing here, okay? Especially if you decide to go no contact with this person. Whether they were your friend or just trying to be your fucking friend. They did not have good intentions at the end of the day. So yeah, they stalk your social media, they watch you, they get mad, they talk about you to their friends every time they see you post something or something that you posted. Uh some of y'all, they I'm hearing they tagged you in something on social media or they trying to connect, they're trying to talk to you on social media maybe. But some of y'all block them, social media, literally. It's a lot of energy coming from social media and I feel like a lot of you guys you either block this person, you made it to where this person cannot Text you, DM you, message you, send you anything. Or you made it to where this person cannot see something. You made it to where this person cannot communicate with you. Uh, you may have even made it to where their friends can no longer communicate with you here, okay? But I do see this person watch you on social media. And I feel like you guys have blocked this person. Or if you have not blocked this person, you're like leaving them on red. Or you're not saying something. You just went no contact, okay? But at the end of the day... You still haven't done nothing wrong. Like, okay, what does this person think the collective did? Like, what's what does this person think the collective did? What do they think you like you ain't did shit to them? It says things to come, future events. So it's not what they think you did, it's what they think you're gonna do. Like this person is salty about something I don't even think you even did. Or if <laughs> it says no drama. What did you do to them? No drama, all love, laugh. I'm telling you, some of y'all, y'all went to like a party, a celebration they want to be at, or they wanted to be invited to some type of party, celebration. They want to be somewhere with you. I feel like this person wanted to start drama with you, but it didn't happen because you were around good vibes. You were in a good vibe. You don't like drama. You were laughing. You were turning up. Okay. You were doing something where you're taking the weight off your shoulders. Um, so what have you done to them? Nothing. You haven't done nothing to them. You haven't partook in, in no drama. I feel like all you did was probably go out to an event and chill with your friends and family. Okay? Clarify future events. What did the collective do to this person? Or what did this person think the collective did to them? Whatever. A lot of y'all, you got to know you didn't do nothing to this person. You're just chosen. You're God's elite. You answered spirit call. And I, for a lot of y'all, spirit told you to get this, get away from this motherfucker. Get this person out your energy. Because they hating on you. They hating on the fact that you're chosen. They've been giving you the evil eye the entire time. So when you decided, maybe I don't want to hang out with her. Maybe I don't want to go to this party with her. Maybe I don't want to go to her party. Maybe I don't want to be her friend. Maybe I don't want to do this. Maybe I don't want to do this with him. You dodged a bullet. Okay? Because you were listening to your ancestors. But I'm guessing this person think you should get karma it's like they're trying hard to make some type of karma happen for you because you don't fuck with them. Okay? Yeah, this person is determined to make you get karma because you are you want to be independent or you don't fuck with them. Okay. But it's, it's not going to work because you haven't done nothing wrong. This person is just a narcissist. So it says here to stop the chosen ones by causing pain and trauma. This person's just narcissistic. This is really, oh, she don't want to be my friend? Well, then I'm going to make her life hell. I got malicious intentions toward her, and I'm going to play these malicious intentions out at this party. I'm going to come. I'm going to bump her. I'm going to do this. They come to the party that you're at, and you're too happy. You're too much in a good vibe. It's something like that. Or they come, and they trying to talk shit to you, but you're too much in a good vibe or something like that. Okay, they come, they think they're going to talk funky to you or crazy to you, but you don't fucking do drama. It's something where you're like, oh, if they did try to come to you with drama, you're like, oh, I'm out. If you peeped a little drama in them, you know what? I don't even want to connect with you. Okay, but this person is, they really seem determined to like start some type of drama with you.
some of you guys could be a Virgo, Aries, Scorpio. Or you could be dealing with a Virgo, Aries, Scorpio, hair, moon as well. Yeah, anything else? So what I'm getting is you, like I said, you have done nothing wrong. This person had malicious intentions towards you the entire time. You felt that shit. You dodged the bullet. They was giving you the evil eye. You decided to stop connecting with them. You stopped responding to their messages. You might have blocked them on social media. And some of y'all, you just blocked their, their energy out. Whatever's going on, they've been stalking you on social media ever since then. They talk about you with their friends or they try to. Or they try to talk about anything that you got going on. But the whole time, they're really just mad that you're chosen. And they couldn't, they're, they couldn't stop you. You're God's elite. They are the devil's elite. Okay? They really live in dark energy. They really are narcissistic. And all they do is they see people with a light. And they want to stop them people. They want to get in that person's energy and then ruin that person in some sort of way. So, like I said, you dodged a fucking bullet. Whether this was a lover, friend, whoever this is. Because this person this person is guilty. You dodged that bullet. You moved accordingly. You moved how God told you to move. You moved how your ancestors told you to move. And that's what got this person caught up. Some of y'all, they might quite literally go to jail. This person literally tried to study you. Some of y'all, this person tried to study you so they can sabotage you. But it backfired, okay? So it says, they study your every move so they can gaslight you and move in silence. Some of y'all, literally, this person was trying to study you. They was trying to do this shit in silence with a narcissistic ass. And you listened to your intuition. You listened to your discernment here, okay? You used your power of discernment. And you got the fuck up out of there. And this person, I, I just, I'm, ah, they feel like they failed. They feel like they fucking failed. Now they can't stop replaying what they did. Now they know that they was hating, that they're jealous as fuck. This person was ad admiring you at first. But then it was admiration turned envy. They wanted to be your friend. They were saying shit to you. They, they thought you was fine as fuck if this was a lover. They were saying shit to you. But then that quickly turned into jealousy. Now they keep replaying what I did. What did I do wrong? How does she know? What did I say? What did I do? Or they keep replaying that fucked up plan that they had to knock you off your path because they was mad because you didn't want to be there. For some of y'all, they literally, but after you decided you didn't want to be their friend, like they start, they orchestrated this whole fucking plan, started studying you. Like, like it's really giving me the vibe. They thought they was going to pop up at a party with you and, and have you in some type of uh, energy here, but you too, you're chosen. Okay. This person thought that they was going to fight with you or something. I don't know. This is some teenage shit. Like, this person is stuck in their teenage mind. They're old enough to know, and but they don't give a fuck. They really don't like the fact that you don't fuck, that you dodged a bullet, bro. You dodged a bullet with them. So, all you have to know is you ain't did nothing wrong. If, if narcissists, like, these narcissists are chasing you, I don't know. All right? It's because you're loyal. You're charming. You're a really good person. Everybody knows you. Everybody loves you. Some of y'all, they're jealous that people love you or know you or want to be around you or people are loyal to you or you have people that are really loyal to you or really do love you. Okay? And like I said, I feel like they peeped that and they were like, damn, I'm hearing, girl, you be shining so bright. Some of y'all be shining so bright. Strawberry champagne. Oh, nice. Lucky for you. This person liked everything you had to offer. Hell, they liked your energy. Hell, they like it. They want it for themselves. But like I said, it went from, oh, look at her. She's the shit. Ooh, he fine as fuck. I want to be with him. I want to be connected to him or her. And to quickly, when they got into your energy, realizing that people fuck with you, people love you. And it turned into jealousy. Like, damn, it's turned into, this is not just insecure. Like, oh, I'm a little insecure. I don't feel adequate to her or him. This is like really getting jealous because people like you or know you or everybody knows your name or something you do gets a lot of attention here so like i said you dodge the bullet love y'all keep doing what y'all doing bye go take a little trip it's such a future with me go take a little dip go take a little dive get that energy right we gonna get it together there's the car, the cars, the key clarity, the cars, the cars, the key what you need. Subscribe to my channel.